Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the Curve Snap Surface Brush. And uh, there is a very similar brush in it, which is Curve Surface Brush, you could see here. And this is Curve Snap Surface. So we'll try to understand the tool and the difference between these two tools because they are, look very similar. So I'll be selecting the uh, Curve Snap Surface and uh, I have the symmetry on. I will switch off the symmetry, which is not really important. I'm going to just click and drag here. And then you got a curve. And then I'm going to drag it once again then what happens is the two curves are now created with a mesh i mean it's like a loft tool or a bridge tool between these two curves now you should be able to see this uh, geometry is now properly tapered onto the surface and the next thing is uh, if i scale this brush size smaller and then click on that the thickness of this plane would uh, reduce down uh, you can again draw one more time which gives a connection uh, from further uh, i mean further more connection will be seen there so when I keep drawing here, uh, you get uh, the new mesh created, but you should remember that uh, I'm drawing this curve from the top to the bottom like that. If I do this in the opposite direction, you get a twisted mesh. So that is really important to check with your uh, result. Now the problem, I mean, uh, the main uh, tool, what you're right now using the curve snap, when I'm trying to edit it, I mean, I can edit the shape here. Okay, just like that. Uh, and the, the, the curve is snapped over the uh, sphere itself. Let's say if I move it from there, uh, it's kind of behaving this way. Now, let me just try to show you the difference. Let me um, tap it there and then keep it aside and then choose uh, the curve uh, surface tool. And uh, when I'm creating this, it's uh, you should be able to see it's not precisely snapping to the surface. And uh, let me actually do this way. Okay. And then you should be able to see the geometry uh, has been built like that. I mean, in fact, you can do this way also. But uh, you should be able to see it's not really snapping to the surface like uh, what we have uh, on this particular model. And the next thing is, if I start moving this point, it moves as a whole object, right? Uh, and uh, now, if you want to really uh, make it connected, I mean, if you don't, you want this one to be perfectly snapping to it, then you can uh, modify certain things. Let me just choose the stroke and then enable the snap option and then just click and run move it and then it, it snaps uh, there nicely and then uh, edit the next curve and then this is what you get here with the curve surface tap it and then uh, accept that result i'll just repeat uh, the curve snap surface uh, you should be able to see this curve is pretty much aligning with the surface and then when i'm trying to uh, move this uh, that's not moving okay and let's say if I do the other way, like this way, you should be able to see the result is trying to still snap to the surface. Some sort of artifact can be seen there. So that's the major difference between uh, curve snap surface and curve surface. So the first one, the first one is like uh, uh, clearly draping to that model, and the other one is like your one you wanted to build some wings or some extra elements. Then this should be a great choice for you.